Hey guys, it's M. Hello all my wonderful gems. And um, I actually just wanted to do a video real quick about bullying and um, you know the effects that it causes. And I'll give you guys a little bit of background on my story. Is I've been overweight my whole life and I started getting teased and picked on and um, really hurtful things said to me. Uh, at a very very young age from I remember when I was in preschool and I was getting teased um, and it actually the worst time that was for me was when I was in middle school um, and the very beginning of high school uh, when I was in middle school I was actually on a hit list because I was overweight um, I was I mean bullied and tormented and picked on and um, you know, rumors were spread and I mean physically I was also, you know, I got pushed and kicked and, you know, poked and everybody used to come up to me and poke my belly and um, do the little Pillsbury doughboy hee hee thing and, um, you know, or there used to be a, um, I don't know if you guys remember this, but um, there used to be a Tubby's um, submarine sandwich place, kind of like Subway. And there was a little ring or a little jingle that they said on on their commercials, and um, people would sing that. The whole bus would sing that to me on the way home. So I pretty much would try to put a brave face on during school, and as soon as school was over and I was home, uh, I cried myself to sleep for many many nights. It did start getting better when I was in high school, and probably my junior and senior year, those were the best uh, years from even I mean from first grade to twelfth grade. Um, one of my outlets was music. It's always been music. I was in orchestra for eight years. I played the violin. Um, I sing now and uh, music is definitely one of my biggest inspirations. It's constantly playing on my phone, on my laptop, um, in the car. Wherever I can get music, I will listen to it. And you know, as I said, my music interests vary between what kind of mood I'm in. Um, if I'm like upset, I really like to listen to My Chemical Romance, Hawthorne Heights. Um, you know, a little bit more of the hardcore bands because they calm me down, which is kind of weird, but hey, you know, what are you going to do? And, um, you know, but I really wanted to, to kind of touch base with you guys and just if you guys are having a hard time at school or at home or, you know, with friends, uh, if you're being bullied, picked on to the point where you feel like you have no other alternative than to take your own life, my biggest thing would be reach out to somebody, do a journal, um, talk to your, you know, your family, your friends, a counselor, aunt or uncle, your teacher, whoever you can trust, talk to that person. Um, if you guys would like to talk to me, uh, leave a comment below. Um, you can message me on YouTube and I will get back to you guys as quick as I can. Um, I am a great listener. I've been through a lot in my life. Um, and you know, the first time I really felt accepted when, is, when I was in college. Um, so it will get better. I promise you, I would not say it if it weren't true. If it happened for me, I know it can happen for a lot of other people. Um, you know, certain things, you, you just have to try to roll them off your back because you can't let everything get to you because that's when those really bad thoughts are going to start entering your mind. You know, do something just for you. You know, whether it's, um, you know, singing, journals, poetry, um, talking to your friends, you know, um, join a blog, join a support group online. There's millions of support groups online nowadays. Start your own blog. Start your own vlog. Do something that makes you feel good about yourself. Um, one thing actually I did, and I've been doing actually for a little while, is because being in a wheelchair and being overweight, it's like a double-edged sword sometimes. I mean, I'll be out in public and I will get those looks where you think, that, or they think, that the only reason you're in a wheelchair is because I'm fat. And that's just not true in any way, shape, or form. Um, I can walk, actually, um, very short distances with a walker. Um, but, you know, when I'm out in the community, I normally am either in my power chair or my manual chair. And it's hard, but you know, you just, if you let those people get to you and ruin your life or run your life or, you know, make it so you don't want to go out in public, 
you know, you guys just, you have to pick your battles. Um, you know, I've seen people staring at me and I just either will stare back or there have been times where, you know, I have went right up to them and said, can I help you? What's your problem? You know, um, and I would rather people ask me questions about my injury, about me, than assume and form their own opinions because that's how, in my opinion, that's how rumors spread and that's how um, stereotypes are formed is, you know, just ignorance and arrogance. Um, you know, so you guys just, I've seen so many people um, that have taken their lives because they think that they don't have any other choice. And like I said, you guys reach out to somebody, do something for yourself. Uh, one thing that I've actually been doing for the past few months has been watching these YouTube videos on um, makeup tutorials, and their names are their name on uh, YouTube and on Facebook is Pixie Woo P I X I W O O, and they are two sisters from the UK, and they break down how to do awesome makeup tutorials, and that was something I started to do to make myself feel better uh, about myself because you know it's it's hard being in a chair and having people ridicule you and, and pick on you all the time, so. That was something I did and it made me feel really good about myself. And this is also something, starting my own YouTube channel and doing this kind of thing has really given me a chance to um, to reach out to others who maybe be in my same predicament or feel like they don't have anybody to, you know, that will listen or, you know, anything that's wrong. Um, I'm a great listener. So private message me. Um, you can leave a comment below and I'll message you. Um, if you have, I'm in the process right now of starting another uh, Facebook, so that'll be up soon um, as opposed to just my personal Facebook. I get, I can talk to you guys on there, and um, that should be up probably within the next, you know, 48 hours around there. So if you guys need anybody to talk to, I'm here. Um, girls especially, don't think that you have to be bulimic or anorexic or a size 2 to, for guys to think that you're beautiful, for to make yourself feel beautiful, I'll tell you right now, I'm nowhere near a size 2, or 4, or 6, or 10, or 12, or even a 20. And you know what? I'm okay with that. I've learned to accept myself and who I am, and I love myself. And that's something that a lot of girls and guys can't say about themselves nowadays, and it's sad. And I want you guys to know, each and every single one of you, you're beautiful. You are absolutely gorgeous the way that you are. And if anybody tells you that you're not, screw them. Okay? You guys are gorgeous. You're beautiful. And you just keep doing you and keep it up. Keep your smiles on. And like I said, find something that makes you feel good about yourself. And you know what? Just run with it. And like I said, if you guys need anybody to talk to, I am here. Please do not think that there is no one out there that will listen to you or that... You can't talk to somebody unless they're going to judge you. I promise you, I am an open book. You guys can ask me anything. If you'd like, you guys can even ask me a bunch of questions and I'll do a Q&A video. Um, you know, I'd actually really like that. That'd be really fun. So. Sorry, my SD card was full, so I had to unload it onto my laptop. Um, just wanted to tell you guys thank you for watching my video. And don't forget to check out the other videos on my channel. Uh, I have two... Um, free sample videos and a third one is going to be coming at the end of the week so don't forget also to like comment and please subscribe and the more subscribers I have remember I'm going to start doing giveaways so probably once I reach about 50 um, to 100 subscribers I will start doing giveaways so tell your friends tell your friends to tell their friends and their family and anything is so who wouldn't want some free stuff so uh, thank you guys again and I will talk to you later bye